it's season 28 and spoilers uh the last stream i actually spent about eight thousand gems i think it was like i had overflow gems trying to get and pull for my brand new deck that will be taking in the season starting in diamond which is hold on i'm leaning up to it you can tell by the, the fire and the fact it's called a volcanic deck why i don't know i have a lot of nostalgia for Yu-Gi-Oh gx i said i'd like to try the volcanics when they came out they came out so we're giving it a go it's actually kind of expensive i didn't expect it um there was three copies of volcanic emperor in here we've we've tapered it down to two there's three ultra rare volcanic troopers i need to get three bonfires the new nutty card uh blaze accelerator reload and then i wouldn't mind picking up a link karibo the amphibious swarm ship um below whale and of course a Promethean princess bestow of flames now from my knowledge there's two ways to play this deck otk ftk or burn the better one is probably the ftk version where i think it literally just consists of you burning a little bit getting this uh getting this thing on the field and then you put something on their field and then you do like an inferno or something and you just kill them instantly it might be this card actually now, with that version, you actually do play Snake Eyes in the deck, I think. And I think you can just play Snake Eyes in it in general. But I want to mix things up a bit. I want to play the pure version <laughs> and just see how we do. Um, I think our weakness is going to be Interruption. So we'll just have to see how things go. And this build of the deck, um, I think I got it off of YouTube. Let me see if I saved it. I normally do save these uh, YouTube things that I have. Yeah, so I've actually changed it already to somebody else's build, but I think this one was a Yu-Gi-Oh! First Place OTS Undefeated Volcanic Line Burn Deck Profile February 2024 from Vincible YGO's YouTube channel. Uh, I think that's where I got this one from. I actually can't remember, but it's already been changed. Uh, they played like two of the Droll and the Veiler, the Veiler um, but they didn't have Maxi, obviously, so we've had to put that in. Um, they played Free Emperor, put it down to two. I think I put Blaze Accelerator down to two as well. Actually, I can't remember. But we'll have to see how things go. And I've changed the extra ever so slightly. So you should take Great Inari and Spiritual Fire Art. Great for burn damage. That's kind of true. I also want to put in, if we pull it... Uh, I can't spell Channeler. I'll put Charmer in. I wouldn't mind playing a Heat to the Fire Channeler. I think it's kind of cool. But we have to pull it. So... I think we are just going to go straight into it. Now, I'll be honest. When I did the 8,000 gems for this pull, for this deck, uh, it's not been going well. I'm not going to lie. Um, I want Bonfire. I want this. And I need more of this. So we really need these pulls because I actually don't have enough crafting material at the moment. So uh, the pulls haven't been great. So hopefully it's something good. I think we'll do... We'll go from piece by piece. And we'll see how things go. Damn! I don't need an Arius the Labyrinth Butler. I don't play um, Labyrinth. Okay, we can we can scrap that, to be fair. I have no intention of playing Labyrinth at the moment, so... All good. Inari Fire, is that what you recommended? If you only, if you only control one Inari Fire, neither can't suspect I'm expressed on this card. This one suggests Inari Fire, then. Is that what I just saw? Pulls in this pack have been atrocious. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. My pulls have been terrible as well. You got butlered. Oh no, the big one. Okay. Right. So, by the way, I've pulled three of the Battling Boxer Boss Monster. Which, I actually played a duel against the Battling Boxer deck. Or I watched a replay. No, I played a duel against it. And uh, it was kind of cool. But I think probably more people pulled for other stuff. So I swear they're like making it so you don't pull good stuff. But what do I know, right? I was trading cards with other people in this game was a thing. The only problem with that is the fact that people create multiple accounts and you just trade between multiple accounts. And unfortunately, they have no incentive for monies. Why? I don't want a royal finished crystal skull. That's useless to me. Fair enough. 
Thank you, though. It's another royal finish. What a royal rate. I mean, I've done quite well for royals lately. So one to dismantle. I actually don't dismantle royal finish cards, typically. I've got three of those at the moment. I just keep them for some weird, strange reason. One ultra rare, okay. Cool. Try this again. It's the guy from the anime, but royal. The guy in prison plays him. But doesn't, doesn't you say plays deck, though? Oh my god! I don't want it! <laughs> Alright. I guess this is an ultra rare if I get one more of those. It's another volcanic emperor or something. And a single bonfire in any 20 packs. Okay, this is it. This hat. This has to be. A b -b 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 bonfire. Actually, I, shall, I have that. I'll have that song ready. Hold on, let's get ready. Okay, so that's ready for when we pull it. <laughs> if we pull it, if we pull it. That exceeds is actually good at least, okay. More label roots. Oh, got another enchained. We actually don't mind some of those. Another one of those chaoses. Another heater. I think we pulled two or three out of these packs so far. The wrong heater, yeah. We want Chandler. Oh. This means nothing. Like, you never get anything good out of it. Okay, cool. Say you don't want bonfire, gaslight the game and trick it into giving you bonfire. Okay. Oh, jeez. I really don't want bonfire. Bonfire. Oh, I was getting ready. Bonfire. We'll try that again. I know that guy's not saying bonfire, by the way. That's a good pull. I needed one. That was good for me. We're happy with that one. Did you get bonfire? No, we haven't had a single copy yet. I have to make it myself. Oh, hold on. This is not going very well. Okay, cool, though. We got an Unchained Soul of Shavana. I'm into that. Decent pulls on that one. We got one of the cards we actually did need as well. Um, that was okay. That was okay. Still need three Volcanic, uh, three Bonfire. One of the uh, the Xyz monster. Unchained next month. We probably should, shouldn't we? Fire Rejection. I think we do play that. We actually do need some super rares for once. Normally, I don't mind not pulling the supers because I can just craft them. But there was a lot of super rares we needed in this pack. Bad pack opener. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Miles off. <laughs> I'm going to give up with this music. That's good, though. Like, good. Unchained Soul, Lord of Yana. We definitely have enough stuff for the new Unchained cards. Decent. It's got a much better turn one play. I say, I played, um, I played them turn two. Uh, when I played them last time. Do you have free tour guide? Uh, I don't know, actually. Another heater? There is a decent snake shot. Snake eye search, yeah. 
these crystal skulls. Bro, I thought I was going to get another raw finish one then. <laughs> Slepnir, good level 9 for Runic Gene Raider. Demias! Hello! Mm, I guess we got some extras. Alright, we're going to do a skip one. Show me Bonfire or that Xyz monster. No, what is that? I got a stick and another heater. Okay, let's try again. I don't want Bonfire. No Ultra Rares. Okay, I really, really, really want Bonfire, please. Please. Yes. All right, two more of those. <laughs> oh, okay, Troopers and Ultra. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. Good pull. Right, we're using all our resources on this pack. Screw it. Come for me. Good. Infernal Flame Banshee. I needed one. Good stuff. Another Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. I think that's the last one I needed as well. All right. Two more 10 packs. Show me two more bonfires, please. No! Volcanic oh, Shells are super rare. Fair play. It's actually a good card. Alright, last one. Show me Bonfire! That's a lot of Ultra Rares that I don't need. <laughs> Alright, we're making stuff. No worries. It's all good. Alright, deck. Volcanic. Two sticks. What were those sticks called, chat? I'll, uh, I'll dismantle them. Um, actually, I'll do it in order. I'll go sort obtained order. Right. I pulled eight Festalos the Shadow Monarch. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's dismantle all extra first. Ooh, 390 SR is pretty sick. Okay. Do I want four copies of Arius the Lady... The lab, the labyrinth butler. No, sorry, I will not be playing labyrinth at this time. Maybe in the future, but not right now. All right. Um, I'll keep the royal finished crystal skull. The rest can go. You, I pulled another one. Get it out of here. Um, I have four Unchained Lords. I can get rid of one. So I got three now. Where's the stick? Where's the stick I've been pulling? Okay. Chat, what's the name of the stick? Gone past the stick. I did. Uh, I don't want this either. Battling Boxer. Ashoka Pillar. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm still looking. There you are. What does it do? If this card is summoned, you can equip... Add one equip spell from your deck to your hand. Then his card was in the tap position. Change the defense position. Can use the effect. Mm, I, I bet it's actually a decent card. That's probably why it's ultra rare. But I don't want it. Okay. What have I got left to pull? Two more ultra rares. Four more ultra rares. Five more ultra rares. Six more ultra rares. Oof. Quite a lot, really. To be honest with you. Yeah. But... Batch generate cards not owned. I'll have 215 you are left. Wait, can I afford it? Yeah, I can. Yes. Anything good? No, basic fall for everything. Nice. And Colossal Mech free pull.
Random Nephis card, okay. All right. That wasn't so bad. It cost me nearly 20,000 gems. And uh, still got quite a bit of crafting material left, but I can live with that. So we only managed to get two Emperor, didn't we? Yeah, I just need to be happy with two Emperor, which is fine. <laughs> <coughs> Bless me. Oh, I'm glad. Did I pull that or did I craft it? Doesn't matter. Right. Um, I'm going to jump into ranked. We're going to learn the deck. Because I have no idea how to play it. No idea at all. Sound deck spec for the H2O. Hold on. Weed Todd. There's my 50 sub gifter. You. Thank you for the 50 subs yesterday. Uh, is Dub step in? Thank you for the sub of the Twitch Prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, Bloodcast, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 12 months. Welcome to Obelisk Blue. Thank you for a year of subscription. Who do I watch to? Sound X, thank you. I assume I'm a going first deck, right? Right. Now... Nobody else played Volcanic Queen, but I kind of wanted to because it's like volcanic, you know? If I do it though, I can't normal summon. Activate this card by sending one Blaze Accelerator from your hand deck or face up from your field to the graveyard. Okay, so I imagine the original Volcanic Accelerator, uh, Blaze Accelerator is a brick. Utopia. Once per, once per turn during your main phase, you can special summon one Volcanic Monster from your hand. I know I want, um, so I saw a thing where this is a good card to use the second effect for, because if your opponent has nothing, you'll put, um, a monster on their board and then they can't imperm you. So they can't interrupt you that way. Scoop, this is an FTK bot. They're going to burn me. <laughs> me? I, I do know they're going to play, um, is it Destruct Potion or something? But for for banter. Ah, what a fool. Numeron Dragon. Yes, you've got 13,000 attack, but with no way to attack. Maybe they'll let me go into my main phase. Also, what are the chances of them having Destruct Potion straight away, right? Like, imagine the odds of actually having Destruct Potion straight away on your first turn after you played these cards. It's near impossible. So, like, I should be all right. I, sh I should have just long enough to Volcanic Queen the Numeron Dragon away. And then I can play Accelerator. I mean, it's like my first duel, really. So, I want to have, like, a good experience with the uh, the Volcanic deck and just try new things. So, it'll uh, it'll be good for me to well, be cool to activate. Oh, I've lost. Right, okay. <laughs> I needed a Veiler really badly there. <laughs> I have a Veiler. I have one Veiler and three Imperm. All right, it's a bad start. We're going to win the coin flip now. We're going to profit. Never mind. All right, we'll go second. By the way, the last few duels I've had, people have played uh, Floodgates. And I've, been, I've been getting really frustrated with Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, these last couple of days. I don't know why. Decks have been... <laughs> annoying me. Obviously, only temporary. Uh, by the way, we're playing a 45 card deck. Because I can't decide on stuff. Did I say one imperm? Three imperm, one veiler. <laughs> At least we can imperm something this time. Yeah. During the main phase. Is it even worth imperming that? Because, I mean, they'll just fuse on my turn. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Oh, 
Oh. That's brand infusion, isn't it? <laughs> I guess I could have waited for the Lubellion. Oh well. Oh well, we've got a Volcanic Trooper. This guy's normal special summon. You can add one Volcanic card from your deck to your hand, except Volcanic Trooper. You can discard one card, special summon one bomb token to your opponent's field. Each time one is destroyed, its control takes 500 damage. Ooh. So one Pyro Monster from my deck to the grave, we send Volcanic Emperor. I think Volcanic Emperor is summoned if you have three Pyro Monsters in your grave, I think. We've got a bounce, catch you all later. We Todd, thank you for stopping by. See you soon. I get paid tomorrow. I'll gift another 50 next time I catch stream. Please don't do that. <laughs> uh, and thank you for the bits, by the way. Uh, GG24. Thanks for the water as well. I like to feel hydrated. Banish three pyros or a blaze accelerator. Oh, so when I use this and put blaze accelerator in the grid. Ah! Feels reasonable. Does this destroy stuff? No, I need I need a scatter shot, don't I? Or if I send a scatter shot to the grave, will that work? You can only have one accelerator on the field at a time, I think, so. I'm going to go for the first effect. This guy's sent to the graveyard. Put 500 damage to your opponent. This guy's sent to the graveyard by the effect of a blaze accelerator. Ah, so no, we don't want that. This guy's sent to the graveyard. Can't expect one of these effects. Banish this card from your graveyard. If you do, send one volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard. Banish one blaze accelerator card from your face at the field or graveyard. If you do, place one blaze accelerator card. Okay. I'm going to send the boss monster. Special summon of... Uh, I'll go for the damage. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Send Blaze Accelerator. Let's turn during your main phase. You can special one volcanic monster in your hand. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, send one level one pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that monster. That's what I want to do. Rimfire? I don't want to know about your, uh... <laughs> I don't know what you're getting up to. Oh, the monster volcanic Rimfire. Oh, I see. I thought we had something spicy. Hi, Phoenix. Ooh. Phoenix, thank you for the free stream streak. I haven't seen people play um, Tragedy at Libertum in ages. Volcanic Cubics. Hoi hoi. Is he going for my. Accelerator. Oh, nice. I get it straight out. Uh, I'll give it a minute, though. So I want to add the Accelerator card again. Hopefully it doesn't have an Ash. That's a Maricuria. Ooh. Um, that's a problem. I think I've lost. I'll just banish it. G 
Trooper is your one card combo. Okay. What if there's a better way of doing that? I know Emperor's about to die, but... Oh wait, he didn't do anything. When summoned this way, you can inflict fire and jump for each banished pyro monster. Oh, there's no banished pyro monsters. That's probably why. How many times am I allowed to summon him? Yeah, yeah. I've met a linking it off or something, I don't know. Calling that GG. I think you send Rimfire and then start shooting stuff with the accelerator. Oh, I see. That would have been quite good. What do you think Chamber Dragon Maze Dragon Form will be? She's the only one that doesn't have a Dragon Form. I have a feeling she's going to be the Archetypal Link Monster. It's not a bad shout. They could get one. She could be an Xyz. They wouldn't have Xyz as a fusion based deck. But they could give it a Link. Lone Fire Blossom. This is a loss. I hope she's essentially circular. <laughs> um, is there any way I'm surviving this? Probably not, right? I'll take the L. There, there was no way for me getting back in the duel. He was literally just going to build up a field and OTK. She's going to get a dragon form soon. It's been teased. Oh, that's cool. I'll go first, please. All right, let's give this a go. Rimfire. <laughs> Is that a good or bad hand? I can't tell. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. Rimfire. I'm going to take... Trooper. God, Bonfire's good. The, the Rotor for Pyrodex. What can I do with this? You can discard one card, special summon a bomb token to your opponent's field. Can I do both in the same thing? I'll send Rim Fire. Summon a bomb token. The effect of Rim Fire kicks in. Banish this card from your graveyard. If you do, send one volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard. Banish one blaze accelerator's card from your. F if you do. No, we want to get Emperor in the grave. I'm ready. So again, I'm not an OTK deck, so this shouldn't OTK. But once I've got that monster out, I'll do F Emperor out. I do 500 damage every time they summon. Send Emperor. Activate the effect. Oh, it's level two. I can't send it.
can I make um uh princess can I do that or not I probably can't can I Fire Ejection and Trooper, yeah. I guess I wanted to get Fire Princess out, princess out there as like an ideal play. It's not a lot of damage. Was that 1500? Hey, I got some animation. Kind of cool. Oh, 2,000. And I get a trap. Uh, activate this card. Take one volcanic monster from your deck and I've added to your hand or special spin, ignoring some of the conditions. Target one power monster on the field. A bit of damage to your opponent equal to the monster's original deck. Or if you, you control, the damage is halved. Monster effect on the field. Banish one power monster from your graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to... I'll go a mission then. You're playing volcanics? I am. I'm attempting to learn them. Okay, if they try to do something, I can use IP's effect to get Emperor off the field. Every time they summon something, I'll do 500 damage. And I can just, I guess I could just instantly use this now. They might be playing like Pyro monsters though. Maybe we can wait. Sunlight Wolf helps with recursion and Link Climbing. Okay, we're playing Super Heavy Samurai. They summon a lot. So, oh, is it just special summons? When summons for each, each time your opponent special summons a monster, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Okay. The mission's the best choice. Okay. 5,500 life points to do. What's this deck's matchup like against um, Dinomorphia? I assume because their life points are really low, but they have a lot of effects that can nullify burn damage. So I guess it should be good against them. Just got to be more careful. Bring out Emperor for 1000 burn damage each summon. You've raised through their burn damage protection. I mean, all the damage I can do here is half of that. So just over 1,500. 1,550. What's my overability? Take one volcanic monster from your deck and I've added to your handle special summoning ignoring some of the conditions. Wait, if, so if I had two uh, volcanic emperors on the field, would both their effects trigger? And I'd be doing a thousand damage every summon. Is that what you mean? Or, oh bloody hell, that's insane. That's like Trickstar kind of ability. Well, why why aren't I doing that? I would have done like a million damage. So what's happening now? I'm doing it. What's the? Is there is there a cost to this? This seems nutty. This seems this seems too good. If I'd have done this earlier, I'd have been, I mean, he would have been so low on life points already. Nutty. He won't be able to go even further beyond, will he? So I'm just going to make sure this Emperor leaves the field by then with uh, IP's effect. How many more summons? He can do two and a half more summons. Yeah, I guess I should be playing the Fire Art Charmer card. 
Baguska. Wait, that won't stop its effect though because it's a continuous. It's not like an activated effect, I guess, or something. Nice. Nice. End of the main phase. Who would I make? What what link three would I go for? Promethean Princess. Baguska. Can I make that? Oh, but at what cost? You can you call one a bit of bad shit. To be fair, I get the logic. He still takes 500 damage every time he summons. Our first win! I feel like I learned so much. Unicorn spin back Baguska. That wasn't a bad shout either, actually. We probably could have done that. Okay. I liked that. I liked that a lot. Now I know you can do that. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Uh... Hefty damage with that. Is it too slow? Or, I mean, that's 3,100 damage. That's a lot of damage. It's tons of damage, some would say. I'm going to favorite it for a bit. Favorite. We'll leave it for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Every time, we'll pretend... Um, what can we pretend is that? Maybe one of the... Imp no, I want to keep the Imperms in the deck. Are you running Awaken, Familiar Possessed, Great Inari Fire? No, somebody else suggested that as well. You can search it with Inari. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, in not Ah, okay. So, there's a lot of options with this deck now. That's kind of cool. I still wanted that channel monster. Woohoo! Two wins in a row. We're doing well. Let's keep it up. Don't count out the Blaze Accelerator Trap either. You can get it off the second effect of Rimfire. Which one summons itself from the deck? Is it that Awakened Familiar? Interesting. Best turn one is to summon Rocket. Get Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Special Summon Trooper. Send Emperor. Go into Sunlight Wolf. Summon Emperor by banishing Blaze Accelerator from the graveyard. Use Emperor and then Sunlight Wolf. Add back Trooper. From graveyard, then go into princess, summon rocket again, then go into the whale. Okay. This feels like a really bad hand. Is this a really bad hand? Because it feels like a bad hand. It is a bad hand. Okay, normal summon. Rimfire. Link it away. Rimfire's effect. Banish this card from your graveyard. Send a volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard. Oh god. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's a bad hand. So, I'm assuming then, there's a lot of bricks in this deck. Volcanic Shell is a brick, Volcanic Scattershot is a brick, and Volcanic Emperor in the hand is a brick? Oh no. That's not good. Alright, I need to stop... Um... Oh god, which one do you stop? It's the one that adds the spell or trap, isn't it? Can you make the deck 40 cards? I probably could. No. Do 
Can play Volcanic Counter? No, I don't think so. Is that is Volcanic Counter the one that goes to the graveyard? Then if your opponent attacks, it deals the damage back to him. It's kind of a cool monster. It's just ammo. Okay. I feel like we're going to survive this. I've never known uh, Marincess to OTK. I don't think they can. Yeah, we're all good. All right, we did a good, uh, we did a good thing. Right, the the vibe I'm getting here is this is not going well. <laughs> Normal summon volcanic shell. I'm gonna tribute it for Link Karibo again. What's my other option? Oh, oh, hold on, hold the phone. Hello. I didn't read its effect, but I assume this is. Fine. Don't do it, Marincess Wave. No. <laughs> uh, well, we got rid of it. That's something, right? Ah, uh, yes. All part of my plan to get Marincess Wave in the graveyard. But not really. <laughs> no. It's a shame because Anima... Say if I targeted their monster, I'm pretty sure if this gets impermed or removed from the... I think it's if it gets removed from the field, it still takes the monster. It just comes to my side of the field and blows up. But that's only if I get removed, like destroyed or something. Right, I'm going to try and negate the, the sea slug again. Oh, God. Ugh. I ain't into that. I ain't down with that, all right? I'm cool with a lot of things, but barrier statues, no. Ugh. I don't have any waters. Time to scoop it up. I don't have any regekis or anything like that. Ziggy, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. They can make Argonauts. They can make a few things, actually. Would you be able to use Barrier Statue of the Inferno? Probably. But I refuse. Oh. I can't do it. Yeah, we need, to, we need to draw 1100 attack point monster. Does that exist in this deck? How much does Rimfire have? 300. What does Trooper have? All right. This card's name becomes Tribal Blaze Extended Spotlight is in the Spell and Trap Zone. During the main phase, you can send one Volcanic card from your hand to the graveyard. If you do draw one card. During the main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Send one Volcanic card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. Any chance I've got another anima in here? No. Okay. Set that. Set that. I guess that thins the deck, right? We want to thin the deck. You can send the trap to the grave. Could I? Oh, can you send the traps to the grave? Not right now, no. Nothing in my hand that can do that. Out of interest, can I summon you from the hand? Hand or grave, okay. So I need one more pyro monster in that graveyard, so hopefully Shell goes there. Uh, what does Firewall do now? I know the artwork of the card, I just can't remember what it does. 
Does it stop the opponent from attacking or something? I managed to make a Get Gonian deck for the memes. Clueless Raccoon, well done. There's a volcanic shell in my hand. I'd love if that little brief window there. Oh, wait. That's not a quick effect. Oh. <laughs> no. Ow. Oh. We need to be careful of bricking in this deck. Main phase only. Oh. Oh. I could lose Vela and Droll and play three Ash. Or I could lose Droll, play two Vela. That doesn't really cut the deck down, does it? I could drop Queen. Not very good on the first turn. Queen seems cuttable. Drop a Maxi! All your cards are better in the graveyard. I don't think you'll need Queen. Oh, but it completes the deck. Fair enough. Queen's gone. 44 card now. All right, we'll just keep, we'll keep cutting, we'll keep trimming. One for one. Okay. It blocks direct attacks at the cost of a Pyro Banish, and then 500 life points per standby phase. Nice. Well, there's my continuous spell. And that's how I get my Trooper. Inori Fire can be accessed if you have Trooper and Anima on the field with Volcanic Accelerator. Why not use Duster and Raigeki? Mm, I think it's just because we're uh, going first deck. And we're hoping we don't run into too many other situations. I, there's no real reason why I can't. Ugh, wait. First turn, Mechanko. That's a thing. <laughs> the problem is if they get out the green one with the green equipped spell then oh god they got a bit of everything in this then I can't destroy them Like in my field gives away what I'm playing very quickly. Fire sleeves, fire field. It's infernoble with a Mechanko engine. This card is equipped from an equipped card. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken in what battles involved in this card. And then what are you doing? The equipped monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. So I need to get rid of the equip spell here.
I think we... Normal summon rockets. Oh no, because I want to... Oh, this is hard. Um, I think we start with bonfire then? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the best move is. Yeah, oh no, yeah, because... Yeah, start with bonfire. Add trooper. Not summon trooper. Try to use its effects. If any of that gets interrupted, I can... Normal summon rocket. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, add trooper summon rocket, get VBA. Because then if this gets interrupted, at least I'll have that search, hopefully. What can I blaze accelerate? I can get rocket out of hand. Okay. Rocket first. But what happens if rocket gets interrupted? Normal summon rocket, it's interrupted. There's nothing I can search to keep me in the door, is there? Whereas if bonfire gets interrupted, I can at least summon this and then get the accelerator. That's my logic. Fun fact, uh, Volcanic Blaze Accelerator is not once per turn, so you can use Rimfire to pop and reset it. That's cool. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, oh, okay. So you can special summon two more monsters. That's kind of cool. Nechko, thank you for the H2O. Thank you, thank you. Can't get another summon if you do troop first. One special summon and one pop. Oh, okay, okay. You can only use each effect of Volcanic Blaze Accelerator per turn or something. Uh, if they get the Link Monster out, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed, aren't I? Wafter. Let's pretend when a spell trap card or effect is activated. Quick effect. You can send one equip spell from your hand or face up in your field to the graveyard. Negate the activation if you do. Destroy that card. And then if they get that lady on the field. Two plus spell negates. Hmm. Not looking good. You have some showcasing the pure volcanic build. Ah. Is that a bronze flow right there? Okay. Man, this is a lot. When a monster effect is activated, you can send one face of a quick card you control to the graveyard to get efficiently to destroy it. Okay. Interruption, interruption, interruption. So much to deal with. If only I had Volcanic Queen! <laughs> I wouldn't be able to normal summon though, that's the problem. Ah, oh, the Mechanko Green one. The equipped monster can't be destroyed by card effects. Can use each face. They can equip that onto non mechanical monsters? Holy hell. Um, that's GG, unfortunately. Go 
Go for bonfire. Back in the gate. Back in the gate. Back in the gate. Oh, he's let me. Uh... That was nice of him. Trooper. I'll be negated. Why does he let me do stuff? <laughs> he should be uh, absolutely pulverizing me. Ah, oh, I should have sent Rimfire. Whoops. It's too late. I was just thinking about destroying stuff. Maybe I should play a uh, Phoenix. Oh wait, I thought he destroyed I thought he destroyed something as well. That's a misplay and a half. If this guy is sent to the grave and inflict farm damage to your opponent, this guy is sent to the grave by the effect of a blaze of card. Okay, I read that very wrong. That's not how it works. Um, that's game. They'll just attack with everything. I can't do anything. I see. Uh, going second seems to be a big problem for us. Maybe I do need more, like, blowout cards. Or something. Mm-hmm. Like, I get the idea of playing a bigger deck so you don't draw into, like, shell too much. You don't need two of the original Blaze Accelerator. I this card by sending one Blaze Accelerator from your hand, deck, or face. Die Bell Star. We can play Snake Eyes eventually if I can afford it and if we do really bad at this deck. You can replace it with Rimfire. All right, I'll try it. One ejection. But this, that, I guess it's a way to get stuff in the graveyard quicker. Like, it kind of helps. One Veiler and one Droll. It's just space. Space in the deck. I mean, I could drop... Veiler. Add that. We could drop... We could drop Droll entirely. I mean, it depends what we, what we expect to play more of. I'd lava golem. I guess it's the thing of if I have lava golem, I can't normal summon. We'll have to see how much of an issue that is for us. Like I didn't mind playing like lava golem in Charmers because we never normal summoned. 
Okay, so we start with fire ejection because it will put a bomb token on the opponent's side of the field and they can't imper my monsters. Two reload and one foolish barrel goods to send one reload to gain access to a quick effect board wipe. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, I'll send Rimfire. I'll summon a bomb token here. Rimfire's effects will banish itself. So that's one fire monster banished. And it'll let me send to the graveyard an emperor. And I'll, I think he's going to get interrupted, but we'll try it. On fire. It works. We take trooper. Normal summon trooper. Can't be imperm now. Add accelerator. Activate accelerator. Send one level one pyro monster in your deck to the graveyard. Mm. Some another bond token. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to learn the deck. <laughs> sort of, somehow. I'm doing as much damage to myself as I am to he. How do I get how do I get more monsters on the field? So Two thousand damage is pretty pog, by the way. That's kind of cool. Five k left. So only they need to not have Nibiru. We're not in the event, are we? I don't think we are. <laughs> End phase. Chandelier here. Oh, labyrinth. Okay. Right. So, so that's five hundred damage. That's something. I can't IP though. People discard Lab uh, Nibiru with Labyrinth. Is it worth uh, emissioning out? Hmm. 
They, um, they're not triggered by continuous traps, are they? Only normal. I'll activate this now. Oh, that's not imperm. Oh, no, no, I, I know what this is. This is, um... What did they just set? Big welcome. Okay. I could use emission second effect, so we do a thousand damage everything, or I could do a thousand damage. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I still have a blaze accelerator in the grave. Yes, and I don't know. I might regret that. I don't know. It's lab set full pass is terrifying. It is terrifying. You know there's all kinds of horrors over there. I'll probably use big welcome now. But I'll use... No, he said. When I summon back my uh, Volcanic Emperor, it's going to do tons of damage, right? Negate the effect of the lovely lady, but it can't be destroyed, I don't think. I don't even know if Mission does destroy that. I summon my very soul. Volcanic Emperor, number two, until the end of the turn. So as long as I survive, when I summon out my Emperor, I'll do 500 damage for every one of my banished Pyros. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll do 2,500 damage. There's tons of damage. What could go wrong? How many times going to use your effect? We'll find out. Oh, does the bomb token not... When it is destroyed, the controller takes 500 damage. How come it didn't take... Oh, the token got bounced. Ah, very clever. Smoke mosquito. <laughs> During the end phase, you can target up to two volcanic monsters that are banished and are in the graveyard. Place them on the bottom of your deck in any order. No, I want them in the grave. That's all right.
Right, so... Normal Summon Trooper. Use its effect. I feel like I've, I can win. I feel confident. Banish Sam, not in the grave. Yeah, but I want him banished at the moment. I refuse to let him use that <laughs> Lady Labyrinth's effect. This is a really cool card. I like this card. Volcanic Inferno. Negate the effects. Ow. Send one level one pyro. Once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. Send one level one pyro monster from your deck to the grave if you do destroy that card. That's so cool. Yeah, it's protected. Oh, it doesn't destroy anyway. And if you do, negate the effect. Do I still get to send? Still ditch for cast of impermanent gates. Yes. I feel like I've really won, but I, I need to make sure. I just need to summon Emperor, right? What could go wrong? I banish Blaze Accelerator. I summon my very soul. I use its effect. I don't know what your mysterious face down is, but we're going to find out, I'm sure. Oh. Will it still do damage even if it leaves the field? Oh, yeah, yeah. Blow that up. Use effects. Then he'll have lost anyway. Emperor's really good. That continuous trap's really good. Volcanic. Oh, I... I like it. <laughs> I like it if we don't break. Alright, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. I still haven't got Fire Princess out in a way I'm happy with, though. Clever Fawn! Thank you for the change, my mate uh, icon. What would you like it as? Princess with the animated trap border, please. I can do that. Let me write that down. I'll go first. So, Fire Princess. Fire Princess. And trap order. Heritage, I think, for the H2O. You must be first. You have this uh, heated door. Why am I going first? I play Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Thin the deck. I used the special summon effect of Blaze Accelerator to special summon. Maybe I should have used Bonfire first, actually. Trooper. Uh oh, Imperm.
bonfire. <laughs> what do I want? Rimfire. Normal summon. DJ Zombie One, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Cool name, by the way. How can, how's Volcanic Treat? I think 50 50 at the moment, but we had a good win last one. Bash, let's just go for Ghost We want. Boss Monster. So this is a weaker first turn because I'm not doing more burn damage, but I've got my Emperor. And I get my trap that I like. All right, cool. I've got one negate for a monster. One monster effect negate and... All right. This inflation isn't fair. It's the way things go, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a silly thing to Ash, isn't it? Um, wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Pretty sure it is. Gravedigger's Trap Hole. Great card. I would Ash the summoning effect of the, of the Ash. Uh, I wish I had, um... Oh, we can negate this. Um... No. Actually. No, thank you. Oh, no! I knew that had that ability and I forgot. Never mind. So I can't negate the Diabell Star. Would have been nice though. Always keep the Ash for the original. I mean, I could go into. No, I can't. I was gonna say I can't. I can't blow that up. End of the main phase. If they want to. Kill IP, that's okay. That's all right. I could have gone for Fire Princess there. But then they could have popped off more. I mean, they st I still could have done that, actually. Yeah, we survived the turn, though. Was Princess Summon Rocket a play? Oh! Wait. <laughs> I need to read Princess's effect properly, I think. Hold on, let me just use this. It might be my best interest to summon Trooper, actually. Mm, 
I'll go this. Should we summon any fire monster and grave at no cost? That's on special summon. During your main phase, you can. Oh, it's not a quick effect. So it's not like as soon as I special summon, it's it summons a monster from the graveyard. That would have been nice. I need to read, said the duelist. <laughs> Classic. Flamberg. You're allowed five more summons. I think one of these is going to get put in the back row soon, though. Yeah, Flameberg will do that, won't it? But will he do that? Because if he does that, he can't put his IP back there. But I guess he could just hard make it. Graveyard effect is quick. Yeah. There we go. Uh, that was the wrong one to choose. That was the one that leaves the field. Good evening, Reacher. Welcome to the stream. How many more pyros I got in the grave? None. Pyro or fire? Pyro. Oh, he's got my monster. Oh, we're going to miss out on two special summons. Ah. Oh. I think summoning the trooper was the much superior play. Like, I knew at some point I was going to have my field devastated. So it might have been worth... Oh, we just about got the damage in. Nice. We did it in the wrong order. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator is so good in the fact that it can send a level 1 monster from my deck to the grave to, well, to destroy an opponent's monster. That's really good. So I can send my last Rimfire. My other Rimfire. He can take my uh, Emperor, I've just realized. And then I'll be paying burn damage. How good is the new uh, Volcanic support? Well, it makes the original Volcanics about 900% better. But in terms of meta ability, mm, I don't know. Uh, I can live with those two banish at the moment. What a top deck. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator's effects. I'll try and destroy... I'll go for the Flameberg then. I know he's going to use its effect, I guess. But I'll have to do it now. Where'd you get nine hundred percent from? It's def well. Original volcanics compared to the new volcanics, it's got to be nine hundred percent. You 
you dare doubt Sam's maths? Quick maths, in it. I can get my emperor back. I just tried to play Valkyrie with a small Snake Eyes engine, and then the guy I was just against quit the moment I played a Snake Eyes Ash. I guess that's one thing you can look forward to with the deck. Oh, what happens if I banish Rimfire? Oh, no. If I banish Rimfire midway through its effect, have I ruined Rimfire's effects? If that's the case, oh well. Wait, there was more to go? It did, in fact, interrupt it. No worries. No. I can still get Trooper. Period. Full stop. Okay, we, we cannot let him have a turn. 5, 10, 15. I got 1,500 damage over there. I'll take Volcanic Trooper from my deck and add it to my hand. Thank you, Bonfire. Uh, I guess I, there's no reason why I can't. Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason why I can't special summon. I think I'll use Divine Temple to steal my Emperor, though. If that's caught by the grave, I've ruined my own day. Oh, they got a boost there. I think we're fine. Question mark? I don't know. I have to send that. I have to banish that, though. That's hefty damage, right? That's 2,000 exactly. Right? But... Oh, it does 500! Could I have what if I attack something else there? I actually don't know. I can't do anything, though. They literally can't do anything. I end my turn. Eh, I should have made... I should have... Could have, would have, should have... I mean, Flameberg's not on the field. Oh, but what if he normal summons a Flameberg? Oh, they can't special summon my Emperor to their field. Okay. 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 Chat, I'm sure... Surely we're fine, right? Right? <laughs> 500 life points of the dream. If they normal summon Flayberg, activate its effect, put Emperor in the back row, that's ruined my day. That's, it's gone. It's the, My day is ruined. If they special summon anything, like access code to... Underworld got us to the closed world. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything's negated. I'd like, it's like an epiphany. Of course. Und Goddess. White woman jump scare. Five hundred. Okay. Okay. I need to somehow get another fire monster in the grave. And I don't know how to do that. Wait! When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can banish one pyro monster from your graveyard and inflict 500 damage. Damage, of course. If they activate anything... Oh, it's got to be on the field, though. <laughs> Maybe they know. No way he'll really read Inferno. But that might be why he didn't use the effect of Underworld Goddess. Oh, but 
it wouldn't have worked on it anyway because it doesn't target. Oh god. I th you feel like they, they know? What is this? Ooh, I can't interrupt that. Wait, can I interrupt the attack boosting ability at least? No! <laughs> He's so clever! Not like this. Oh, please, please send my um my volcanic emperor to the graveyard as well. No. My backup wing condition. Do both. Give me one more fire. I need one more pyro in the grave. Don't be a shellfish. Can't interrupt talking. No, I know. Link Karibo for the protection. Okay, so I can't even just slam into Oak. That would have been good if I drew um, Volcanic Rocket. If I Volcanic Snake Eyes, just Volcanic. Pure Volcanic. <sighs> Any secret graveyard effects I don't know about? Not like this. Top like lava golem. How is that 500 damage off? Ow. Every little helps, clearly. Bonfire best card in the game, though. I blame Maxi. Did they Maxi me? <laughs> you blame Maxi, it never made an appearance in this tool. Shell into Link 1 is game. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. I don't have any Link 1s I can make, can I? Shell's a level 2. I don't think I can make it. Poplar. Would you negate a Poplar? Screw it. Imagine that, oh, maybe I should put Magic Sunder in. No, he's not bit. He's. Well, he's a little bit bit. I guess he could have popped my uh, back row. No problem. But I did have a set card. It was fine. Doesn't Shell take your own life points? No, the graveyard Shell does. You pay 500 life points to add another of itself in the deck to the hand. But that would have given me enough for Emperor, I think. Face up and or graveyard. Yeah, I could normal summon the last one. Oh, no, I couldn't have, actually. Yeah, this is BM. This is, uh, this is embarrassing now. I thought we were having dual... I have nothing. Volcanic counter in the graveyard. Could have been cool. Maybe he's just making sure. Getting one uh, negate monster on the field just so when he attacks, in case there is a secret burn somewhere, he's not taking that risk. The only way you would know is if he was really BMing, he would have attacked with the Link Karibo first, I think. I think that was fine. Oh, I thought I had that door. I thought I had it. <laughs> 500 life points. I'm putting a Hitomna in the deck. Or Gagaga Cowboy. I don't know, something. Maybe I should have ashed later. Maybe that was my problem. Should have ashed the uh, simple spoils, whatever it's called. <laughs> Bless me. Is there any link monsters that burn? That's a link two or something. 
Bless me. I'm going to sneeze again, I'm telling you. I can feel it. Oh, man. I'm allergic to BM. Oh, there's so much dust in my nose. Damn allergies got me the same way. Oh, tell me about it. You gotta win the duel against them allergies first. That could be a. Uh... Now, dueling is a competitive sport, but sometimes dueling against allergies is the true battle. They get to what? Special summon a monster and then set a normal trap. Damn. That's an impressive setup. I can't ash that either. Oh, yeah, because they're just saying they're not. Um... Are you playing Sunlight Wolf? No. Uh, we could put it in. I got, I've got two Heater in the extra deck at the moment. I could probably cut one. Did we see what the other card was? Chat, if you know for a fact your opponent has a set Welcome Labyrinth and Big Welcome Labyrinth, what would you rather... Stop. Oh my god. That can't be good. Each time a monster effect is activated, place one spell stone counter on this card. Well, this card has two spell stone counters. Knife player can activate the effects of face-up monsters on the field. Also, the effects of all face-up monsters on the field negated. <sighs> and then it resets in the end phase. Big welcome for sure. Okay. Oh, that counted as one? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it did. Mm. All right, I am currently effectless unless I can deal with that card over there. Is it on the field or everywhere? You still have monsters activated. Face up monsters on the field. Okay. That's fine with me. Special summon. You know the ability of Emperor when it burns? Is that a graveyard effect? Or is that on the field effect? It's, it's on the field effect, surely. Effect on summon. Well, I don't have three fire monsters anyway, so. So, oh, it's oh, so it's on the field effect. Okay. Mm, that'll do for attack. Should Sam add greater Anari fire? You can use that to effect twice.
Oh. Each one's. Yeah, I don't want to banish my field spell. It's okay. End phase. Yes, extra burn. No, might be a brick. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. Crypt Keeper, thank you for the replay. We'll check it out a bit. Set one Labyrinth Spell or Trap. Oh, we're not in the main phase. I can't... Um... I can't use IP to bounce it. That was going to be what I was going to do. I can do 1,550 burn damage instantly. Or I can wait and keep doing 1,000 damage every time they summon. They'll summon 1, 2,600. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, Power Sink Stone. That was all right. Wait, why did they use Ku Clock if it wasn't going to use it? So it'll be a thousand damage. Will we only get 500 or do we get both? Oh, we do get both. Oh, nice. Those effects didn't trigger the time sink stone. Cool. I like having tax dragons on the field. Uh, let me do one more door. Crip Keeper, hold on one second. I'd like to know we can uh, win a few. Amblo Whale. Is that the link for? Yes. Have I summoned it yet? No. Those are continuous effects. Nice, nice. Change icon. Oh my god. I've got it written right here still. Fire Princess. Nice. Okay. Clever Fawn. Thank you for the redeem. Sorry it took so long. So you wanted Fire Princess for the burn. Thank you. And you wanted. Which one? The trap border? What's the trap border? Is it the Halloween one? Like the trap tricks one? I think I've got all of them. Maybe cylinder. Yeah, magic cylinder's trap related. Well, I guess that's that's right. Pink. I guess it's burn, isn't it? The red one with 
the what not sprouting out? I'm sorry, what? The Evil Eye of Selene or the Path of the Red Sky Striker? Which one? Which one do you mean? The, the cylinders? What not sprouting out? This one. This thing. This one's got something sprout out. And this one's got like the glow coming out. Am I reading into it too much? I'm going to say we're right. The path one. I thought it was a trap thing. Path. Which one do you mean? Path? Oh, Path of the Red Sky Striker. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's more burn on theme. Yeah, fire. Sorry, that took a while. <laughs> we got there in the end, though. Will you stream tomorrow? Maybe. I might try and do Nibiru. Oh, no, no, no. No stream tomorrow, definitely. No chance. Now fire should be added. Is that really what it came to? This one. You can special summon this card by sending one face up spellcaster monster and one face up level four or lower fire monster control to the graveyard. When this card is special summoned by this effect, you can put damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of one monster they control. This guy sent. So what do I play with it? What's the Inari fire package? Is it the Heat of the Fire Charmer? Okay. I wouldn't mind swapping one of the heaters. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Anima and Heater. Ah, oh, okay. I get ya. I comprende. Where's the volcanic counters? Uh, do, you know what, actually? Do they exist in this game? Or were they a um, a Duel Links exclusive? Oh, no, no, yeah, they, they do exist. Oh, I need the fire art from to search it. Point two card deck. What can it count as an OG card? Oh, I didn't. I didn't think that. Quick keeper before I forget, and I jump into another duel. Uh, your replay. So thank you for the water. Uh, top one, fan of Vanquish. Found a Vanquish Kashtira deck and then proceeded to clap it with my not so meta deck. By the way, bless you four times. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Creep Keeper. Exactly, think the replay as well. Haha, <laughs> you're playing Ghost Tricks. Nice. To be fair, we saw someone play uh, Ghost Tricks the other day. They did quite well. Ghost Trick for the win. Reasoning. Denied. Flame Wing Man. Could Flame Wing Man not attack? You can use a mission and spiritual arts button for game. A mission first, do 1500 damage. This 
replay rings a bell? Did you submit this recently? I remember seeing a ghost trick sleeve in the opponent's hand. We get out the link monster, don't we? And then what do we do? Ha ha. He was against Kashtira last time. Oh, I see. That rings a bell then. No, they had a Alu card out last time. That's probably uh, what I'm thinking of. This is the wrong door. I forgot to make it public. Uh, if you want to make that public, I can watch Exadi's Duel first. And I can drink Moonraker's H2O. Exadi, thank you for the replay. Which one? Top replay. Wow, tons of replays being submitted. I did put the prices back up, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, Exadi was looking through my cards from 20 years ago and found Forced Requition. Though it would be usable in Witchcrafters, but the activation timing is too specific, so I made a new deck just to try it out. I don't remember Forced Requition. I've made it public. Okay. We'll watch it after this one. What's up, guys? Thank you for the H2O. Moonraker. Cheers. That's not H2O. It's Tonic. Oh, I remember Force Requisition. I had that I had that card. Mine's all like beat up. You can activate this card when you discard from your hand. After that, each time you discard, your opponent must also discard the same number of cards from his or her hand. Okay. Here we go. We can't use it just yet. Oh, Temple of the Kings. We can activate it the turn we set it. There we go. Okay. Pump discards. Pump discards a card. My goodness. So you just go through all the nightmare cards to do it. That's pretty cool. Tonic redeem when? I don't even like Tonic Water that much. It's like a mixer for me. It's all the fizzy we had. Exactly, that was good. Well done. Yeah, Baguska's been drinking. Just saying. Atem! It's our first time looking at this. Let me guess. Top replay. Yoink daddy. Okay. We can do that. Thank you for submitting your replay and getting it right on the first go. Here we go. Oh, okay. A bit of Machina. I never played the continuous spell and I play, um, what did I say? Machina? Infinitrack. Sorry. I mean, there might be some Machina in the deck. Who knows? <laughs> Tonic is undercover poison. Denied. Harvester should do some work. Road roller. I never played road, road roller either. Road roller. Nice. Stormer with the search. Make a drill. Tunnel attribute. Special summon. Tunnel that special summon as well. That's a two sevens. Smasher. Earth Slicer. Earth Slicer steals and equips, doesn't it? 
Just destroys them. Mind, ignore me. All right. Very nice. And then your continuous spell is protecting your monsters, isn't it? Your opponent cannot target. Machine exceeds monster you control with card effects. So Fenrir can do nothing. Did your stomach make everything go to defense? Is that what Road Roller's doing? It's time of the way. It redeems a H2O. Well, thank you for feeding me water. I do appreciate it. Fresh Earth Slicer. Survives. Survi dies. Absorbs. Ah, that's how he gets materials. <laughs> nice. This is like a really good matchup for the uh, Infinite Track. Literally stealing their monsters. I see the value of that continuous spell now. How many Yu-Gi-Oh series does not have God card based like Dumb I guess Vrains doesn't have an A. Arc 5 doesn't have an E that I know of. The God cards, anyway. I didn't think Zexel did, or did Zexel have some? And I assume that the, the newest ones don't. Should not leave. Nice. I wondered why you attacked like that, but then I remember that the... The link monster forces you to attack the bigger monsters first. You have to go around it to get to it. So, well done. That was really good. Atem, thank you for the replay. Very cool, very cool. Suchir also with a replay. My goodness. We've all been saving up or something. It's three replays in a row. Uh... Suchir was pretty surprised that I was able to play through all of this. Also, screw snow. Screw snow, yes. I agree. I've just realized I don't know where my wallet is. I need to look for that in a bit. Oh, that's a really good point. Where is that? Where have I been today? Sorry, hold on. This is kind of important. Um... Oh, no. I have it. <laughs> Oh no, I've been out of the house today. Did I move it? Chat, would you give me two minutes? Give me two seconds. Uh, you can have... You know when you remember you, you, you went out and you don't remember having it? It's here. I found it. My wallet. <laughs> All good. No pressure. It's only because it had cash in. I don't want to lose me cash. All right. I can fully immerse myself in the duel now. I'm not distracted by the fact that I thought I lost my wallet while I was out earlier. Please play ads when you leave. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Bad streamer. <laughs> Thought I had you. <laughs> All right. Interrupted immediately. I think that was a bit too quick to interrupt. It was a normal summon though. Code talker. Call by. Woofed. 
Here we go. Small world. Circular. Sigma engrave. Sigma's gone. This guy's got a bit of everything, hasn't he? Snow to the field. Flip your monster face down. So we can't play through this, surely. Oh, transcode talker. Code generator. Transcode talker. Summon. Code talker. Link in hand. Xcode talker. Kind of nutty, right? Oh, you had to pick one of your zones because all the opponent's zones were filled up. And it's gone. Woofed. Shooting code talker. Okay, we've got transcode, xcode, shooting code. We're going to get power code out next. Firewall. You say it's true, Ace. Maybe. Access code. The ultimate code talker. Try gates. A links. That looks like uh, the U link to me. That was a really good play, by the way. Finest. No one else could attack? I mean you Saku Sam, not you say. My bad. That was impressive. I'll have to give you that one. Su cheer, well done. They should make a code talker that can only be summoned into the opponent's extra monster zone when a U Link has been achieved. Or something daft like that. And then you have to get rid of every single one of the monsters in the circuit and when you do that i don't know you win the duel or something it's like a new win condition monster why not transcode and codec is full combo it's crazy what were they cooking with the code talkers Maxi hoping to clutch me. Oh, we've got Maxi and Imperm, actually. These guys really want the anime. That's it? Okay. It's one too many rim fires for me, but sure. Activate fire ejection. Shell was the play. How do I get the Inari fire with uh, with oh with rim fire? No, how do I do that? Since you have a normal summon. I'm gonna take trooper. Oh no, that was wrong. Sorry. 
Oops. So you can restock. Okay, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I'm starting to learn. Whoa! Wait! You can summon it from the deck? I've I have never seen the deck glow gold in my entire time playing this game. That's incredible. Whoa! Look at that! That's so crazy. As if you can do that. Oh. I didn't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Ah, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, it's straight up on the field. Wait, what do I do with this then? It'll b oh, I need to get another fire monster from the field, right? What do you do? Wait, can I can I OTK? Whoa! Oh no, I can't search it. Um. Volcanic shells are daft. How powerful they are! It's crazy. Please read, you have us hostage. Captivated. I've like Uber One. I have like Super One. Wait, I can just attack the game. Oh no, I can't attack the game. <laughs> I can't win. Sorry. set them all now why did i do it before the battle phase why did i do that <laughs> i i i think i learned the error of my ways you would have won too i know i know look if they summon anything i win special summon special summon it could be a burn deck as in like those Toxic for gate control decks. That's fine. Are you a dual plinks, dual plinks player, Sam? I used to be. <laughs> Out of interest. What was they playing? What was they cooking over there? Alright. Right, let me just do one thing before I carry on. Where's Anari? You can special summon this card from your hand or deck by sending one face up anima and one face up level four or lower fire monster you control to the graveyard. When this card is special summoned by its effect, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of one monster they control. Your choice. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add spiritual art card. Oh, okay, so I want to summon that to the field when I have a monster on the field. My bad. I see my mistake. I've learned from it. I'm hoping to grow from this uh, experience. Okay. You normally target the token. So, you know, Anari Fire, do I target opponent's monsters or my monsters? 
for the burn effect. Oh, the opponent's monster. Okay, I read it wrong. Oh no, I drew uh, Accelerator. You make human. You're, you make human. You make mistakes. You're human. I make a lot of them, though. I think I might be the most human person on this planet. The amount of mistakes I'm making. I can deal with an Ash. I can't deal with an Imperm. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect, Sam. Oh, thank you. I regret that. I don't know. Did I want? Did I want to interrupt it? Yeah, I guess I did. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't want to overcook now. I'm worried. It shuffled the deck even I sent from my hand. Good luck through Diamond. Thank you, Zom. Appreciate it. Zom, thank you for the H2O as you send... As you send it off. Wait, what do I want? Has to be an opponent controls. I could take Emperor and I can do Burn, but I don't really want to summon anything else. Trap to summon Emperor? Yeah. That's probably the smartest thing to do. I'm going to shotgun Maxi. And then if they do have a side frame gamma, at least I can use emissions instantly. Don't you send Emperor to the graveyard? Special summon it. It's not a bad shout. What? What, what? We still don't know what the opponent's playing. Well, wait, I'm actually to play around Gamma. I'm afraid of uh, Kaijus. Kaijus and inherent summons. They frightened me so. Just like that. I said shell because you could have discarded to summon a token. Then use its graveyard effect, but I forgot. Already summoned, so you couldn't Inari burn. Plus, I didn't want to play too much into Max C as well. Stop speaking it into existence. Ah, Snake Eyes Kashtira. He's going to put my Emperor in the back row. It's no worries. I expected as much. They open Fenrir Birth. They did. The 
This ain't good for me. This ain't good for me at all. Is um Unicorn at one now? Is the ban list not happened yet? Or that's right, isn't it? Unicorn at one? No, Unicorn at two, isn't it? Unicorn is two. Going to. <laughs> Same with birth. Oh, so they birth up, unicorn down. Fair enough. <laughs> Shangra era. <laughs> Who do you think will banish? I reckon my continuous spell. Blaze. Inferno could have saved me. Ugh, why? Go for the blaze cannon. I'm going to destroy you in a bit. Just blaze. They'll go for... Underworld Goddess? Fire Princess. Fire Princess. Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess. Anima. Oh, okay. What if he did that because he put uh, Shangri-E there? Oh, Will they go for a Rise Heart? They will. I can deal with this field. This is fine. Mm -hmm. I think you played the wrong fire deck. Oh no, I just realized. Um... I can't send a level one pyro monster from my deck to the grave. No! <laughs> Um. Oh, they've got me. Um. I've been had. I can do nothing. And I'm going to give him a second material. And if I use call by, that'll be a third material. The problem with Ash in that is that Fenrir's live now. And then it'll be another back row removal. And if I do use call by. Surrender. Oh, surrender. Mm, a rise out seems like a real hard counter to my deck. Oh, did that banish in something? Is that a third material? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I should have just set Volcanic Inferno. He might have banished it, but... 
Uh, nothing I can do, unfortunately. Nah, I... That was annoying. Okay, that's a very big weakness to this deck. Uh, pretty much completely shut off without a graveyard. It's very important we win the coin flip. And we lost it. <laughs> it's important we lose it. We win the coin flip. I like this archetype. I like Volcanics. I like what they're doing and everything. I really like the boss monster. And I think some of their support cards are super cool. There's definitely a higher chance of brick with this deck. And I clearly don't do very well. Okay. Now, save the Imperm for a Rise Heart. Or just imperm that now and hope it stops their turn completely. I'm going to let them pop off. I'm just going to let them do it. The problem is, if I imperm now, and they get another monster on the field, and they get a Rise Heart out, and whatever, that's that's me completely done. I can't play anymore. But I can deal with one Rise Heart if I negate it. Oh, it's Snake Eyes Arise Heart. Okay, Snake Eyes Cacheteera. No worries. So, Imperm is back on the table. Actually, wait, they could get another one out. Ash the Ash is typically what people like to do. Imperm the Ash, Imperm the Ash. There you go, see? That was a reasonable turn. Imperm the Ash. And Ash the first send effect to summon. Oh, I see. And Karibo. That was a reasonable turn. I can live with that. I could bait with Rimfire. Um, we'll see how bon Bonfire goes first. Okay. More you know. Summon Rimfire. Link into... Anima. Rimfire's effects. I had a horrible feeling he had a call by. Excellent arts with a replay. Nice. Looking forward to watching it. I have a cut of my extra ripped away. I can pop a, I can wipe his field with uh, Blaze Accelerator, I think.
Yeah, we can we can wipe the field. That'll be cool. I haven't done that before. And I get to draw a card because of it. So they'll bring back the Fenrir. Not Fenrir. What's it called? Oh, no. I've got it. I've got Unicorn. <laughs> I knew I'd sneeze again. <laughs> Wanna attack for zero damage? Shall I blow this shall I blow them up now before they can use Ash's effect? Then one of a face-up card you controls the graveyards, push some one level fire monster from your hand or deck. I guess that interrupts his turn. You can send two face-up cards you control to the graveyard, including this card, push some snake eyes monster from your hand or deck. Um sure. They've used the second effect. You can only use each effect of Snake Eyes Ash once per turn. Oh. Oh no, each effect, yeah. Spell they added. How about Linkrebo? That's cool. Triple Volcanic Scatter Shot play. Any ideas what the next structure deck might be in this game? Red Eyes structure deck will probably come on the next anniversary. Other than that, though, I don't know. Not a clue. What would, what would we like? What would we like to see? This feels good. Oh, nice, Drinity Trooper. Hi, Sam. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I recently watched your Yugi and Kaiba versus Noah video. Ah, oh, thank you for watching it. And thank you for the 25 months. Really appreciate it. That was a fun... That was a long one. That was a really... I think that was one of the longest duels I've done on the channel. Uh, it was like... Was it like 40-odd turns or something insane like that? Might have been more. Forty one turns. Waft. Worked hard on that one. I also like my thumbnail on that one. I thought it was a good thumbnail. With the Noah in the middle and the Yugi Kaiba like half faces. I thought like, this is good. So much stuff. Uh this is really cool. Um Hold on. Inari fine next. Let me summon my rocket. Does rocket trigger on a special summon? 
Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, I need to give my opponent uh, a token, but I can't. They blew my finger. It's a shame. I don't know why I'm taking so long. Sorry. Longest all in the original series. Well, if I said it, it must be true. Okay. Renacio, I'm sorry that I took so long in that duel. I was thinking. <laughs> Okay, all right. Next lot for the replay. Thank you, thank you. We'll watch it as soon as this duel finishes. Sam was BMing. I was a little bit, yes. It was cool that we had multiple ways of going for game, though. That's kind of sick. Okay. All right. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nice short and sweet turn. All right. Make my opponent think we're playing Snake Eyes. They scoop because they can't be bothered with it. Before I even search for... Oh, wait, what do I want? Shell for the ammo? What do I already have a shell? I already have a shell. I'll take the rocket then. I should have done that the other way around. I should have summoned Rocket first. Yeah, I should have. Plus, I'd have had a 1900 attack point monster on the field. That would have been nice. Oh, no way. I can just do this. Trooper. Send Rimfire. Profit. I'll do. How many gems did it take me to build this deck? <laughs> Close to twenty thousand. Yeah. 20,000 and a bunch of gems. Uh, crafting material. It's quite expensive for what it was. It's the... Triple Bonfire Ultra Rare. Extra deck, obviously, there's a lot of Ultra Rares in there. Emperor's an Ultra Rare. Okay, that was a simple turn. Would a bomb token be better than damage?
Oh, the pools were abysmal as well. That is true. Let's send a monster. We knew that was coming, don't worry. Kaiser Knights, thanks for the H2O. Thanks for the hydration. Thank you all. Raguganol. Grand Guganol. Ah, I could have gone for anime. I could have gone for Inari Fire here. I regret everything I did. I was going to say, I don't, I don't have any light or dark monsters. He's going to summon Fall of Albaz. Make Mirror Jade. Have I made a mistake? I think I have. Would it be rude? It wouldn't be rude at all. How do you work? Once per turn if a card leaves the extra deck. Yeah, I did it. I did damage. <laughs> Lulu Wave is a wild name. Yeah. Oh, it's not even Lulu Wave. It's Lulu Walilith. Lulu Walilith. <laughs> He's summoning. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, wait, I've won. <laughs> I like Volcanic. I am. Um, I like them. I think they're cool. One more win. We barely leveled up today, but still, that's, that's not the point. I'm learning the deck. I hate the tongue twisters of a name. Like Purply Thorny Dragon. Next all, thank you for the replay. Uh, it's the only replay visible. You can watch that. Sam is a fan of burn. This is my second burn deck. But I do like it. I somehow managed to snatch a win from Snake Eyes and pure... With pure Raid Raptors. Shea Obsidian would be proud. I can almost hear his Raid Raptor very distinct, iconic noise. That... Wait. I can't even do it. You know what the Raid Raptors sound like in the anime? That high pitch screech. Burn player at heart. I've played two burn decks. Two of them things. Now do it again. 
Can't do it. Ultimate Falcon. This deck has support. Nice. For Strix, my favorite um, Raid Raptor is Fuzzy Lanius. I just like the name. Fuzzy's a good word. That's a hefty bit of defense right there. Bank up magic. A reasonable field. I thought he was going to get out um, Ultimate Falcon or something like that. What's the one that people don't like? One that shuts off all plays. But it's nothing to do with this deck. The DDD monster, I think it is. Satellite Cannon Falcon. Cool. Nice. Another rank up magic. Kali Yuga, thank you. I'm a, a buzz. Wow, well, fair play. That satellite thing did quite a bit of damp quite a bit of stuff there. Star of Flames. Huh. Air Raid. Damn, fair play. This is the most variety I've seen uh, with a Raid Raptor player. Like, I'm so used to the typical stuff that they go for. I've never seen all these uh, other Raid Raptor monsters get some actual use. Rule Decree, okay. Oh, you know what? Fair play against, like, uh, all the Labyrinth players. Buzzilanius! My sweet boy. Rank up. Revolution Fan Falcon. Royal finish as well. Ultimate Falcon. Nice. Nice. Next all you should be proud of yourself. That was really good. An incredibly impressive display from Raid Raptors. Nice. Thank you, Nexel. One more, one more. I know we ended on a high, but like, one more. Soul Resonator. Ooh. I'm not feeling good about this one. They, they have a lot of interrupts. The uh, Red Dragon Archfiend deck now. I have to top deck something in insane if I want to stay in this duel. The continue. I think. Um, hmm. I've joined all links for a minute. It's like sad that they came to an agreement. The reason they play Mastor is because there is no scalability, and they can't win without it. Oh. The reason they play Mastor is because there is no scalability. Don't swim about it. Let's see. I mean, Duel Links is becoming more real world Yu Gi Oh! now, I guess. It's got like, what's he got? Brandy Fleur. 
some of the other cards. Sky Strike is in there and everything now. So, pumped for Brave Strix and Rising Rebellion Falcon. Can't wait, just annihilate everything on the opponent's field and burn them for good measure. <laughs> God, this is going to be so tough. I think they've got something in their graveyard that protects Synchros. The Synchros can bounce back. This will negate something on the field. This BNL. And this patter. Hmm. Obsessive Uvaloop. Did Jack actually play a camel in his deck? Soul res. Mm -hmm. Bain. Crimson Red, Gaia. Once in the field, it's drop about low card effect. He's press someone's red dragon out three monsters from your graveyard. Okay, so the one that bounces. And then I assume they added the red one, red zone. When your opponent activates a card or effect, well, you control a red dragon arch fiend or a single monster that mentions it. Put one card on the field, destroy it. Okay, it just destroys. All right, here we go. Bane does nothing, it just sits there menacingly. Ooh. Um, what do we want to resolve the most? Oh, I feel like I could have played if they didn't have the Ash Blossom as well as all that. I'd have felt confident. Well, I would have felt confident, but like I knew I could have activated this and it wouldn't have got denied. Oh, he's let me do it. Okay. <laughs> I think I could summon Emperor without having the card on the field. That might have been ideal. Five hundred damage. I mean, it's filling up their zones, which I quite like. gonna be a problem. Maybe I'll let them do stuff first. Uh 
battle phase. That's game. I didn't even need to do this now. It's just I know it's I know it's over. If I'd have waited. No effect destroyed? Yeah, no effect. Always happens with continuous cards. And then that negates that. Ah. We had a good going first hand. Not a great going second. Send scatter shot. I would have liked to. Uh, didn't have a scatter shot. <laughs> I feel like volcanics have a little tiny bit of the ancient gear problem where. <sighs> I mean, there's a lot of bricky stuff. Like. This can be a brick, and this can be a brick as well. Hmm. I think I'll need to look into the deck a little bit more. It feels really good. It feels really good when it pops off and everything, but it can be a bit bricky. I wonder if a bigger size deck would be better, but you want your combo pieces sooner rather than later. We'll have to look into it. Blaze Cannon. Alright. Um, that was fun. I did enjoy that. Um, that was a good little introduction to Volcanics. I'll try and have a little practice tomorrow. And then I'll jump on hopefully Saturday or Sunday and play a little bit more. Oh no, we need to do the Nibiru event, don't we? Looks fun to pilot. Oh yeah, it's definitely fun. A lot of fun. We can put some other stuff in it as well. Or kind of counter, maybe. All right. Um, I'm heading off. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you all enjoyed your time here. Uh, have a good day. All right. Catch you later, chat. Thanks for the stream. Well, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye, bye-bye.